economic difficulties with 0.8% less in operation than when compared to this time last year and those still currently running their activities concerned with a downturn in sales. Tirana's mayor, Arion Veliai, has responded to what he refers to as the DP-led protest against the Outer Ring Road project, saying there is absolutely no chance of stopping the development and modernisation of the capital city. Palon Bala gave a statement to the media declaring Victoria Tusha's candidacy for the high state control will be reviewed on Thursday before being discussed in the commissions. Good evening, it's 6 o'clock on Tuesday the 13th of November 2018. Welcome to the English edition of Aura News. My name is Alexandra and I'm here to bring you the day's top stories from across the country translated into English. Small businesses occupy the main weight of subjects that have halted their economic activities. According to the Institute of Statistics, the number of enterprises in operation decreased by about 0.8% compared to the previous year. Merchants themselves also complained that the start of this year has seen less optimistic sales than forecast. In addition to low sales resulting from economic problems in recent years, the retail trade has also faced increased competition from shopping malls and large markets. The Small Business Association has raised concerns about the fact that small businesses are closing down due to high costs, counting 13,000 businesses that have closed their doors in the first seven months of this year. Mayor Arion Veliai has issued a response to the residents of Astir, whose homes and businesses will be demolished to make way for the Outer Ring Road project. During the election campaign, I consistently heard the call of the citizens of Tirana, who said that Tirana will continue suffocating until the traffic situation at the roundabout at Eagle Square will be fixed. In fact, we determined that there was a total of 21 traffic hotspots that we needed to address. Today, there is only one, only one. But these residents want us to remain in the Stone Age. Why? Because there are some people who have taken over the land there and do not accept the compensation we are giving. No chance. The chance of stopping this project is zero. Civilization will win, said Arion Veliai. Whilst previously the municipality communicated that those residents affected by the demolitions who did not have ownership documentation would receive one year's rental bonus, today the mayor announced that the city hall would provide the bonus for a period of three years. All those citizens will have better treatment than those from the segment of the flower factory at Teg. As the Tirana municipality, we have offered three years rental bonus for those who have no documents. And let's speak a truth for the moment. They have taken someone else's land on the Ring Road. My parents lived here, but they did not take anything. They lived where the system set them, like 99% of the citizens. It was known in the time of Adil Tachani that there is the road. Look at the lake. How could the lake be held hostage by 140 people? Never, retorted the mayor. Mayor of Tirana, Arion Veliai, called Lul Zimbasha a petty child and appealed to residents not to fall victim to his games. My call to all residents is not to be used by Luli. Ask the citizens of Kukus why he left the Battle of Kukus. Look where the brother-in-law of Luli took office and remember why he left the protest. Luli, brother, leave the protest as soon as you get the money. The party that brought pluralism is back in fine business. Today, you can do everything online, but before, if you did not pay the money to Luli, you could do nothing. Allowing an illegal and noisy minority to impose themselves on an honest moral majority of this city? Never. It does not work that way. First of all, we will not only have this reimbursement for all political parties dealing with this kind of work today, you have lost points. 99.99% .99 of people want justice. They want to be relieved of traffic, not to be gridlocked in the streets, for it not to take an extra 40 minutes for entry into or exit from Tirana. They want the city to develop and modernise, concluded Arion Veliai. The Socialist Party Parliamentary Group has high ratings for Vitora Tusha's candidacy nominated by the President for the High State Council, but Talon Bala said there would be no hurry for her vote in Parliament. Despite the positive consideration, Talon Bala implied that this candidacy may not be approved since the Constitutional Court appointments are dependent on the Council of Appointments in Justice. 
This is one of the two members of the Constitutional Court who have passed the difficult but indispensable exam in justice and deserves all respect. However, remember that the important institution of the Council of Appointments in Justice has the jurisdiction over the presence of members of the Constitutional Court, said Talent Bala. Bala asked for the Democratic Party to exclude and distance themselves from their economics expert, a senior member of the party who has recently been arrested for drug trafficking, Tritan Shorai. If such an individual was in the picture with the Prime Minister, with me, or with any other Socialist Party representative, the media would have filled the doors of the Assembly or the Socialist Party headquarters. Meanwhile, when a senior Democratic Party official is arrested for the sake of Italian justice and faces a long sentence from Italian justice for narcotics trafficking, the same situation is not found. It is embarrassing that, in the case of Lul Zimbasha, there is a double stain of shame that a person who, whenever has such cases on his opponent's arm, makes great noise. Still, from the Democratic Party, there is no notice that this person, who is a senior Democratic Party leader in Tirana, the DP leader for Unit Number 5, the largest administrative unit within Tirana, will face any form of punishment. This person is also part of the Department of Economy in the Democratic Party. The Democratic Party must exclude this person from its ranks for the sake of the prerogatives of the decriminalisation law. Decriminalisation cannot be stopped only in the Assembly or City Council, but it is also an important dimension within the organisation of the political parties themselves. All Albanians see how the Democratic Party daily charges against others, but in cases where there is a public, public accusation against them, there is not a single answer, concluded Talon Bala. The leader of the socialist group claimed that the Leshi issue was a problem unintentionally created by the president, with Bala saying he will appeal to the constitutional court. Kosovar Prime Minister Ramush Haradinaj warned the president, Hashim Thaci, that he risks being discharged if he signs any agreement that violates the territorial integrity of the country. His attitudes come at a time when President Hashim Thaci has spoken about correcting the country's borders in order to reach a final agreement with Belgrade. Thaci's statements have faced controversy in the country and the Assembly has tried to limit his right to speak but without results. Haradinaj spoke yesterday to the TV show Pressing on the T7 network. He added that the party he leads, the Alliance for the Future of Kosovo, would vote for Thaci's downfall if he signs something that violates the territory of Kosovo. The Prime Minister expressed his conviction that the scenario of touching Kosovo's borders is an idea of Belgrade. He acknowledged that Serbian officials had previously invited him to become part of the discussion for separating Kosovo. At the Conference of the Regions organised in Tirana, Mayor Erion Veliai urged the European Union to support the funding of municipalities that are capable of implementing the projects they undertake. One of the talks we have made with the European Union colleagues is for the European Commission to directly support the municipalities that are capable of implementing projects and that can lead these causes forward. Like Voltana, I received constant feedback on the need for more schools, kindergartens and greenery and this is one of the reasons why we asked the European Commission to look at municipalities as a priority partner for implementation. One of the things that I feel very good about is that, that cities are increasingly becoming a central part of the European agenda. It means that cities matter, stated Arion Vendiai. He added that the, he encourages the idea of sister cities in Albania, especially within Europe, with a focus on collaborating for concrete projects in community service. One of the things we want to encourage in both our associations and our members is to find an opportunity, perhaps even with community members, to join as a sister city with somewhere in Europe. When I say a sister city, I'm not talking about taking pictures and giving signatures, but actually collaborating on concrete projects that can be implemented and from which we can learn tremendously from each other, declared Viliai. Also invited to the conference, Democratic Party MP Yorida Tabaku again called the territorial reform a failure, adding that it hampers investment and increases taxes. Today, the budget data shows that municipalities spend 116 million euro on salaries alone. This is twice as high as that of 2014, which is the previous year of territorial reform. More spending, more taxes, forcing municipalities to raise their taxes by two to four times. 
The municipality of Tirana has abused the citizens' trust, making Tirana the city with the highest taxes but with less investment, with conflicts of competencies and, at the end of the day, citizens that do not receive the expected level of service. I call this a failure, determined Yorida Tabaku. Mayor Arion Veliai stressed that countries such as Albania can benefit from the successful experiences and models applied to the West and implement them accordingly. And that's the news across the country today. Thank you for watching our English edition this evening and be sure to join me again every Monday to Saturday at 6pm for the latest news from Albania. Once again, on behalf of Aura News, thank you and good night.